on Local 10. We're hearing from the family of a man gunned down in Pompano Beach as detectives make a break in the case. Local 10 crime specialist Bridget Matter is outside BSO headquarters with the exclusive. With the help of the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, two suspects who are brothers were located accused in the murder of Andrew Ford. Tonight, we're speaking to the victim's family about the sudden unexpected loss. 32 year old Andrew Ford was shot and killed at his home in Pompano Beach, May 12th. It wasn't supposed to happen. It was it's just this wasn't. It was tough for Ford's sisters, Alexia and Aza Ford, to find the words over the loss of their brother. He didn't deserve what happened to him. And it's just, I don't even know how to feel right now. It's like I'm numb, but at the same time, I'm mad. I'm sad. Family says Ford worked in maintenance for the Department of Agriculture. He was the neighborhood handyman. He was a very good person, helped everyone in the neighborhood. Neighbors described hearing a barrage of gunfire on the night of the shooting. I heard like maybe 10 or more shots and it woke me up. Neighbor William Peterson says a bullet went through his bedroom window. My head was down here, four feet, four feet away. You got to feel lucky. Very much so. Very much so. God is, God is good. <laughs> A week after the shooting, one of the suspected killers was located in Clay County outside of Jacksonville. Zanchez Prince was killed by the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office SWAT team after police say he pulled a gun. The suspect made reference and specifically said, I'm not getting out, you're going to have to shoot me, you're going to have to kill me. Two days later, investigators arrested his brother, Brandon Prince, in Fort Lauderdale. It don't seem real. It just don't. While grateful for an arrest, the grieving process for the Ford family is just beginning. A vigil will be held Wednesday to remember Ford around 8 p.m. in Esquire Lakes. We're in Broward County tonight. Bridget Matter, Local 10 News.